Hello everyone, you are welcome to Math Explorer. How to solve this nice algebra math problem, which is k by 5 times k by 5 is equal to 5 by k. So here we will try to find out the value of k. How can we solve this math problem? Here first of all we will try to multiply these two fractions in the left hand side. And to multiply these two fractions here we will multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So this will become, this implies here this will become k times k so we'll write k one time and we'll add the powers so here the powers are what in the numerator and denominator as well so this will become k raised to power 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by denominator will become 5 raised to power 2 is equal to and this will become 5 by k now here we'll cross multiply these two fractions so you multiply k square with k and 5 square with 5 so this will become implies k square times k is equal to 5 square times 5. Here the power of this number and this variable is 1. So here in both sides the bases are same. So we'll add the powers. So this will become k is equal k raised to power 2 plus 1 is equal to and this will become 5 raised to power 2 plus 1. So both sides of this equation will become implies this will become k cube is equal to 5 cube. Now here we will move this number to the left hand side. So it will become negative. And this equation will become implies this will become k cube minus 5 cube is equal to 0. Now here both the terms in the left hand side are in cubic form k cube 5 cube. So here we will use cubic algebraic identity, a cube minus b cube identity. So here in this step we will use this one cubic identity, a cube minus b cube which is equal to a minus b times a square plus a times b plus b square. So using this cubic identity here a is k and b is 5 so this equation will become implies a minus b you know, a is k minus b is 5 times a square this will become k square plus a times b so here a is k times b is 5 plus b square you know, b is 5 square is equal to 0 now let's simplify this expression so this will become implies k minus 5 times this will become k square we can write this as 5 k plus 5 square is 25 is equal to 0 now here the product of these two expression is 0 so here either this expression this linear equation will be 0 or this quadratic equation will be 0 so from here we will get two equations the first equation is k minus 5 will be 0 or this quadratic equation k square plus 5k plus 25 will be 0. Here first we will solve this one linear equation. So here we will move this 5 to the right hand side. So it will become positive 5 and the value of k will become 5. So here k is equal to plus 5 is our first real solution. So let us suppose this is k1. Now here we will solve this quadratic equation for the other two values of k. Now look into this quadratic equation here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method or by completing square. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find out the roots of this quadratic equation. Now to use the quadratic formula first we will write the values of a, b and c which we need in the quadratic formula. So here the value of a which is the equation of k square is 1. The value of b which is the coefficient of k which is 5 and the value of c which is the constant term is 25. Now the quadratic formula is k is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus power ac divided by 2a. Now let's substitute these values here in the right hand side so this will become k is equal to minus b the value of b is 5 plus minus square root of 
b square so b is 5 square minus 4 ac the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 25 divided by 2 times the value of a is 1 so let's further simplify this right hand side so this will become minus 5 plus minus square root of this pipe is 25 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 25 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 now here we will take 25 common from the these two terms inside the square root so this will become minus 5 plus minus this will become square root of taking 25 common so this will become here 1 will be left minus here only 4 is left divided by 2 now next we can write this right hand side as is equal to minus 5 plus minus square root of 25 times 1 minus 4 is minus 3 but we can write minus 3 as 3 times minus 1 divided by 2 now next we will split this square root over 25 3 and negative 1 so this will become minus 5 plus minus this will become square root of 25 times square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 so further this will become k is equal to negative 5 plus minus here square root of 25 is simply 5 times square root of 3 and here we know that square root of negative 1 is the complex identity i so we'll replace this with i divided by 2 so here we have two possible values of k one is positive and one is negative so here the second value of k will become k2, k2 is equal to minus 5 plus 5 times square root of 3 i divided by 2 so this is the second value of k which is a complex value now the third value is k3 is equal to minus 5 minus 5 times square root of 3 i divided by 2 so this is our third value which is also a complex value so finally we have three possible solutions in this problem one is real which is equal to 5 and two are complex which are these now we will try to verify this real solution that k1 is equal to 5 or k is equal to 5 is the exact and correct value of k in this problem or not so we will verify this value here so let's verify k is equal to 5 now to verify this value here we will write this problem again no the problem is k by 5 times k by 5 is equal to 5 by k here we substitute the value of k that is 5 so this equation will become here we will replace all the k's with 5 so this will become is equal to 5 by k so this is 5 and k is also 5 now here we will simplify both sides so 5 will be cancelled with 5 so this will become 1 and we will also divide this 5 here so this will become 1 1 1 1 the 1 divided by 1 is simply 1 so this is 1 times also 1 divided by 1 is 1 is equal to 1 divided by 1 is 1 now 1 times 1 is simply 1 is equal to 1 now here both sides are equal so it means that k is equal to plus 5 or 5 is the exact and correct value of k in this interesting algebra math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching